Hello. I wanted to make a quick video showing off my current internet connection and uh, giving you a quick rundown on how I've been able to achieve this speed. Now, I am on the NBN, and as you may or may not know, the maximum up to speed that you can get on the NBN is a 100, down, uh, 100 megabit download speed and a uh, 40 megabit upload speed. And most people won't get that. Uh, most people, if they don't specifically choose the highest speed plan, will be put on either a 12 meg or a 25 meg uh, connection. And at peak time, they may or may not even be able to achieve that. Um, this is mainly down to how much bandwidth the ISP is buying for a certain area. Um, it, a lot of this has to do with luck. In, in what area you're in and who you choose to provide your connection. Um, there are physical limitations to the NBN, seeing as it's not fibre to the home in most cases. Uh, in the majority of cases, it's fibre to the node, where fibre is run to a cabinet in the street, and then the ancient corroding copper line that you've always had in the ground may have been there for 30 or 50 years. That's now supposed to deliver you uh, super fast internet um, that pretty much maxes out at best at 100 meg so most plans only do up to 100 you can't really sell 1000 megabit plans and say oh yeah but you know this super fast technology we're still rolling out can't actually do that so everyone pretty much at the most an ISP will give you currently is a 100 meg plan um, the problem with the fiber to the node is you won't actually get 100 meg the further away from the node. So the longer your copper run is, the slower your internet will be. Basically, the copper line picks up noise, and as a result, the speed drops. Uh, I'm quite lucky. I get a 75-ish megabit uh, sync on my line. Um, 75 to 80 meg sync. I achieve 75 uh, megabit Per second uh, download speed. Uh, I'm quite lucky. The ISP I have selected is My Republic, and in my area, uh, and I say my area because I have friends uh, on My Republic out in a rural area, and because they're in a rural area, uh, My Republic hasn't purchased their own bandwidth, so they're leasing uh, Optus wholesale bandwidth, and that's congested. So the friends I have in rural areas don't have nearly as good of an experience with My Republic as I currently have. But um, basically, My Republic in my area, which is Craigieburn in Victoria, have, as far as I can tell, no congestion whatsoever. So it doesn't matter if it's 4 a.m. or if it's peak times, I get the exact same speed, which for me is limited by the copper line and the speed it can achieve which is around 75 megabit, give or take. So, if I uh, get a 75 megabit connection, how is my speed test showing a nice 209? Well, let me explain. I don't just have the one connection. I have three different connections. So, uh, first off, I have, uh, in this house originally, we had two phone lines years ago. One was a fax line. So seeing as we had two lines, I was able to get the NBN on both of the lines. Now, even though the phone line itself has not been active for about 20 years, um, the, the NBN was still able to put the line in because the copper was run and there was a, a point uh, in the house where there used to be an active phone line. Um, NBN Co. were able to give me the line for free. Um, Initially, my Republic thought I might have to spend $300 for a new connection of a new line, but I never got charged that after I you know, explained to them that there was a line there and it was physically run, uh, and I had no connection, uh, no issue getting a connection. So I have two plans. This is the price per plan. Uh, my Republic only have a 100 megabit plan, so basically you get what you can get. You get the fastest speed available, dependent on your technology. And if they're wholesaling out, if there's congestion. Uh, and you also get unlimited data. So there's, there's no data caps, uh, no hidden 
uh, surprises there. So the prices have actually gone up. Both of the plans I signed up to were actually uh, $10 cheaper. Uh, so yeah, it's $70 a month now. Uh, one of my plans is actually $60 a month and $70 a month. Um, they basically only offer two plans. There's the um, standard plan, which is this one, and then there is a uh, gamer plan. The gamer plan is basically, um, it gives you a static IP address. Uh, so I have the gamer plan as my main IP, so I can remote in to the network here. And uh, this is basically just the secondary connection. Um, so I'm paying $60 uh, dollars and $70 dollars for the two connections with no connection fee, just the $1 fee to buy the modem. Um, and then the third connection is actually a Big Pond 4G modem. So uh, a couple of years, years ago, you were able to sign up to uh, 4G internet with Telstra, but it wasn't with Telstra per se. The billing, everything went through Big Pond, which I don't believe exists anymore. You can't sign up for a new connection. But the uh, bonus in the Big Pond connections were that you, when you hit your data cap, you wouldn't be charged extra. You would just be slowed down to about 60K. Um, the cool thing is, uh, I have a plan from years ago, I think it's about $20 a month, for a whole single one gigabyte of data, which you go over instantly, basically. However, um, you ring up every month and ask really nicely, uh, there's a good chance, and I've been doing this for about three years now, and it's pretty much always worked, um, you ask nicely and they will speed you back up. So I essentially have had unlimited 4G internet uh, for three or so years. Uh, what I've done is I have built a uh, PFSense router. Uh, the PFSense, uh, PFSense is free uh, software that you can put onto an old computer and turn it into a really powerful router. So my connections, uh, all three of them, connect to the uh, PFSense router, which is an old PC, and then that connects to my network and brings the internet in. So I actually have... Um, the My Republic modem that I paid a dollar for in bridged mode, uh, and that's plugged into one Ethernet port on the uh, PC. The second connection, exact same deal, in, into a different Ethernet port. The uh, 4G modem is plugged in USB, and then there's a gigabit Ethernet out that goes into the network. So um, basically, what happens here is I've set up load balancing. So the router will send traffic over multiple connections to achieve uh, more or less um, the speed of all the connections combined. Um, now this is not actual um, bonding. There are ways of bonding connections if uh, there is a device at the other end, say where the ISP is, that will combine the, the three or so lines and give you one external IP address. Um, I don't have that. I have three different IP addresses, three different connections, and uh, the top one, the main one, the VDSL connection, the um, that is the IP address I connect to the house with. So I only ever use, um, I think I get about 20 meg a second upload on that connection. So I only really get a 20 meg uh, connection into the house. But uh, realistically, that's more than good enough. And if I'm uploading stuff to a server, uh, this should be well, is smart enough to start pushing it out to multiple connections. So it will come from multiple connections and get to its destination. And when the uh, internet comes in, when I'm downloading stuff, it pulls it from three or so connections. So uh, I'm going to do a speed test and uh, we'll see what happens here. So with the speed test, you'll see the three connections are all going their maximum. Um, so the first uh, connections are getting 72 meg a second. That's, that's limited by the copper and the distance of the 500 odd meters from the node. The second was getting about the same. And the third connection I, I missed, but we'll do it again and, and have a look. Uh, right now it's doing the uploads. Uh, so the upload speed uh, is around 80 meg. And you can see all three connections are doing an upload at uh, different speeds. So there we go. 18 millisecond ping, 212 megasecond with an 85 meg upload. Let's test this again and we'll see the three connections closely. Um, first one is pulling in the 72, 
Our second's pulling in 71, and the 4G is getting 76 ish. So they're all hovering around the 72 meg mark. Um, so almost finished there with the download, and we'll do the, the upload test. And we see the upload numbers here. Um, sorry, it's 30 meg connection I get upload on this link. Um, around about a 30 odd meg connection on that one as well, and around the same here. So I'm getting uh, around 30 meg upload on each connection. So um, this isn't costing me too much. And, you know, the 4G more or less is only plugged in uh, just to get this number higher. I don't need it. I'm more than happy with the two uh, NBN connections, which don't cost too much. It's a $70 per month connection and a $60 per month connection and together they give me about 140 megabit uh, down and a 60 megabit up uh, all day every day with no congestion so I'm quite happy with that so if you feel that your NBN experience isn't fast enough and you do want something a little better and you don't want to spend a ton of money like say $150,000 to get fiber run to your house because the government have only done fiber to the street and yes, quotes for that do come in at about $150,000. So if you don't want to spend that much money, or you don't have that in loose change, uh, you can get two or realistically three or four, I guess, if you have the copper from your house to the pit that can support it, and the pit has enough free lines. Um, in theory, you can get two, three, four NBN connections using the fiber to the node technology and... As long as you're not getting congestion on them, uh, you should be able to get the full line speed on each of the connections. And with some free software and a lot of tinkering, you can essentially have that big connection. Uh, now, I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to use all this speed for, but I really do enjoy watching this dial go up. Um, the 4G connection drops down to maybe 20 meg during peak time. So the 4G does mean I don't really get to see over 200 unless it's night. Uh, right now it's 2 a.m. But it's, it's fun to see this. And hopefully I'll find a good use, maybe backing up all of my data off-site constantly. Um, I'm not too sure. But uh, anyway, there we go. A 200-odd.